Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at some issues with Windows Update. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some issues that have been happening recently with Windows Update, especially for those of you that are going from the previous version of Windows up to the latest 21H1, which has just been released here in May 2021. And if you go into Windows Update, you'll see what you're about to see on the screen now, which is the some settings are managed by your organization, which uh, some people think to themselves, well, that's uh, pretty weird, what's going on here? I'm not part of an organization, I'm using my PC as a standalone, it's at home, I'm on the internet, but other than that, it is not owned or controlled by anybody, just yourself. So this is a, a quite common thing which happens sometimes if you've been fiddling around in the BIOS or been doing any of those kind of odd Windows tweaks or fixes that you often see on YouTube and on the internet, they can actually corrupt some of the Windows Update settings. So we'll look at today on how to actually repair the damage caused by potentially either a tweak in the settings or sometimes Windows just uh, goes a little haywire itself. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to head over to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen on your Windows desktop, and in the search box there, or from the start menu, you wanna find RegEdit. All of this will be listed in the comments section below, so if you wanna to go to the quick part and just copy and paste stuff, you can just head on straight down there now. Once you've got RegEdit open, then what you wanna do is to head over to the following key, which is H key local machine, then head into software, then into policies, then drill down into Microsoft. Next, we want Windows. And next one is Windows Update. And when you get to the Windows Update folder, you'll notice there's an additional folder that says AU. AU, I'm guessing, stands for Automatic Update. Hey, I don't know. But anyway, that is the one you want. So highlight the AU folder on the left-hand side of your screen, right-click and choose Delete and it'll come up with a warning possibly, so are you sure you want to delete this, etc. Now obviously before you go ahead and delete this, possibly it may be worth making a backup of your system and also your registry, just to be on the safe side, but I think most people probably absolutely fine, but again, that is your choice. It's a 50-50 on that one as far as I'm concerned. So go ahead and delete the AU folder. Then you should find, if you go back into Windows Update, you may find that it still comes up with the option saying that there is some settings managed by your organization, or potentially you could actually have a different error now, which is where Windows Update gets into a constant state of where it's uh, basically just waiting or trying to update. So in order to fix that, we wanna do another command, which we'll take a look at now. Okay, so the next part of this is uh, relatively straightforward, although for those of you that can't be bothered to either listen or to type this out manually, again, head down to those comment section where you can just copy and paste the information. So what we wanna do now is to open up a administrator level command prompt, Really easy to do, again, just type in CMD from that search box at the bottom, or just drill down through your menu until you find command. Right click on it and choose run as administrator. This will give you a administrator level command prompt, at which point you can type in the following or obviously cut and paste from the comment section below. So what you wanna do is put in DISM space forward slash online, capital O, then a space forward slash cleanup dash image, cleanup with a capital, image with a capital, then and again, another forward slash, then restore health. Restore with a capital R and health with a capital H. Once you've typed all that in, just uh, go ahead and press that enter key. And then the DISM, essentially the deployment imaging software thing, whatever it is, will do its job and it will actually fix the problems that are with your Windows operating system. This is a really nice thing to run. It runs very quickly. I got to about 100% in probably a few minutes or so. After you've done that, you can close down your command prompt when it says that it's finished, restart your computer, and head on back into Windows Update, and you should find that Windows updates as it's meant to. Obviously, if you don't want Windows to update, then I don't know why you're watching this video. So I hope this fixes your problems with Windows Update and also removes that annoying message that says it's managed by an organization or your system admin, all those kinds of things. If you've liked this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you wanna see more content like this, feel free to click on the subscribe button and the chime icon and you'll be notified of future video releases. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.